Trisket, Bash, Dead Flyer, Quick and Smart, Electron Wrangler. Cannot putt Lutese. Bruh, was watching the VOD. Watch the live, bro. Welcome to the now. Welcome to the real world. RDC West! This is my new dance. What do you think about it? <laughs> it like dominates space. The thing about this dance is it dominates space. Tragic, 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 tragic. No, it's not awesome. I like the stash. I kind of, uh, I kind of fucked it up when I was trying to trim down so I got rid of it. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, it got, I mean, it almost got Hitler-esque because I, I narrowed it a bit and then it was too small. So I had to just, I had to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Where'd Henry Cavill go? Uh, it's just me, I guess. Hello! Hey, Cursed JPG, thank you for the three months. Cayman, thank you for the 28. My GOAT! You ever finish in the We Were Here games with Stanzi? That was premium content. Um, We might have done this. I don't know if we ever made a video the last time we played, but we did play another one. Uh, it was fun. I don't know if there's another one. Hey, Shrek, it's me, Dylan. I changed phones, so you probably didn't recognize me right away. Why would I not? Your name is still Digital Dylan. <laughs> I recognize you. <laughs> what the fuck, late ice cream? It's not late. It's not that late, bro. I'm like 28 minutes later than usual. It's not like, whoa, late night stream. That's so crazy. It's not like off the grid. Bro, it's 10 p.m. Chill down, bro. It's 8 p.m. It's 8 p.m., bro. In the land of freedom. The left side. <laughs> you know, one thing I was thinking about today is like the way America is split between blue states and red states is not well conducive to a civil war you know because it's like it's almost like the coasts and then some cities in the middle it's not good i feel like we should set it all up to where it's like a gradient across the country so that we can have like you know how the last civil war was north versus south i think we need a civil war that's east versus west to mix it up to make this one different that way if you're studying for it in the history books you'll know that was the north-south one. Then we get an east-west one. Um, yeah, kind of like, kind of like rap. Yeah. If anything, we should get like Tupac involved. He's not dead. He's hiding. Um, or we could checkerboard it, I guess. Or like a diagonal from southwest to northeast. You think like a diagonal from Seattle to Florida, <laughs> like. We'll put one capital in Florida, one in Seattle, and then we have like a... Is Tupac well-versed in military operations? Yes, that's what he's spent his time doing ever since he died. Hey, Ilya, thank you for the... Ilya Walk, thank you for the gifties. Uh, much appreciated. Did you have a message that I wanted to read? Mm, uh, thank you very much. Much, much, much appreciated. Um... We should plan our civil wars around future middle school social studies lesson plans. Yes. Do you understand how dumb these kids are getting? They're getting, I mean, it's, we have to TikTokify this stuff. It's got to be simple. <laughs> All right. If you're telling me they have to, they're going to have to make a, a civil war two essay or something. And it's about all these different interconnected states. 
There's just no shot. There's no shot. Um, we leave at Copenhagen tomorrow. I leave tomorrow. There's a good podcast called It Can Happen Here about what another Civil War would realistically look like. So it's like a multiple day, multiple hour audio LARPing session. <laughs> it's, I mean, <laughs> it's just you. It's an America fanfic. Uh, Uh, let me get a let me get a little just a little bit of water. All right, wait. Listen to this groovy tune. All right, what's that? Seltzer to get your mind right. Oh, my hair's really fucked up today. Not boy dinner, not girl dinner. This is man dinner. Okay? Gave me five subs and your message was little late for the start, little bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not cow dinner. Stop calling me little bro. <laughs> You're not a, I am none of your little brothers. I'll tell you that. <laughs> little cow. Start Botox yet? Not yet. Not yet. I didn't get my lip filler or my Botox like China asked me to. was quite good i just told the whole team today congratulations i think they did a great job on it i think we're hitting our stride five weeks straight on monday every monday um raiders thank you for the raid from dr pants the legendary dr pants there's none like him have you seen the ufc antitrust lawsuit just settled they fucked over the low end to middle end fighter and also not allowing any fighter to unionize I did not see that. That sounds fucking awful. Though par for the course. Uh, yeah, fucking over the middle to low end fighter. That sounds very... When they're trying to do that... Yeah, that, that's a common thing in sports, I think. Where they're trying to... Only like the superstars can have the economics to break out of getting exploited. Um... Uh, Check out the Rocket League Major. No shot. Zero shot. I promise you that. We have so much we want to do. I, yeah, we're doing Counter-Strike. But outside of that, I think it's all fucking exploring. We, we only have like, you know, six days, seven days. Mm. All right, be mustache. Yes. <coughs> yes, my mustache is gone. Uh, much to my chagrin. I tried to clean it up and it ended up getting... It was too narrow. It was it was Hitler esque. You know what I'm saying? Like if if it's full, I like it. If it's like here, I don't I don't like it. So I I uh, I I just shaved the rest. 
actual fuzzbeard now. No, I'm not actual fuzzbeard. I never was fuzzbeard. I just once briefly had a piece of fuzz in my beard. <laughs> whether or not I have a mustache doesn't change whether or not I am fuzzbeard. I'm not fuzzbeard. Um, you sure are eager to share someone with Hitler? Uh, yeah, because I shaved it. <laughs> if I said, it's like Hitler, check it out. I'm wearing it every day. That would be a different story, wouldn't it? But you're not, you're not bringing that part up. In fact, you're trying to push a narrative. Um... When is that spring cleaning stream? Sometime in April. Once I'm back from Copenhagen, we are going to do spring cleaning where I nuke the Discord down to like two channels empty. And we are going to ban all, <laughs> all jokes for one month. All previous jokes. They have to all be new. I think chat might be dead silent. <laughs> I don't know if they can come up with any single new joke. It's going to be it's going to be a near impossible. Um Those Ted Lasso lawyers got to you fast. <laughs> That's why I shaved my mustache was Ted Lasso's lawyers reached out to me and said copyright infringement, we will take you down. Uh Will you change Atriox 7 back? It's starting to be weird. Oh, it's weird? Interesting. It's weird. So if it's not a white guy, you feel weird about it. You can't salute someone who's non-white, is what you're trying to say, Exporzy? That's odd. That's odd, because I thought Karthik was a really cool dude. I thought Karthik was awesome. I thought he was a big part of the stream. Um, I thought he brought a lot of energy and enthusiasm. To me, I had no problem using him in salute. Uh, he's like a real member of the family around here. Hey, Triok. I recently learned about the dude. Fucking, this is the sign. If you wrote too much, if you're a, if you're a typer, it covers up my chin. <laughs> Your messages can't be so big that it's blocking the screen, bro. I I learned about the esports World Cup and one of your thoughts on the structure of finding the best esports club in the world through two months of competitions in various genres of games if this is something that will finally pump profits in the esports industry something's been done. no i don't think this will pump profits in the esports industry this is saudi arabia trying to sports wash themselves in esports they're throwing money at it nobody uh not nobody but most esports viewers are fans of the esport that they like one maybe two they're not big cross-team fans. Many, many people, if they like two different games, like different teams in each game. They're not like, I like Cloud9 in every game. They're just not like that. It's not, that's actually not how it works. And so this doesn't appeal to anybody. Um, I mean, some people like it, but it's not, it's not a huge audience booster. Um, Yeah, people are, are are player motivated, and mostly the players based on like their content they create. Uh, hey, Big A, I got my first internship as an investment analyst today, and I spoke about Evergrande and the Chinese housing market in the interview. So I should return the favor with my first ever Prime sub. Perfect. This is my long term strategy. I get two dollars and forty nine cents from everybody who I help get a job <laughs> in the investment banking world off of. This is all, I'm playing the long game, okay? It's profit, it all tracks, it all adds up. Uh, uh, on the low though, seriously, congrats. That's awesome. Um, hope you enjoy the, the work and the job. Um, don't make the mistake I did and invest in China. <laughs> don't, uh, don't put any money in there. Uh, Uh, we are all, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. growing out the hair on your sides, I see. What do you see? What do you see? Since two days ago, when I read that comment out loud and haven't got a haircut since, I'm suddenly deliberately growing out the hair on my sides. <laughs> yeah, you got me. You got me. Oh, I see. Oh, growing your hair daily, I see. I notice your hair is micrometers longer than it was yesterday. You don't get a haircut every day? Hmm. Very interesting. 
China banned AMD chips I mean, for government employees. They did ban Intel and AMD. It's like a reverse tech blockade. Well, no, it's just a tech blockade. I mean, same thing, but they're just doing the same thing that, uh, you know, they're trying to, trying to block American companies. Um, Hey truck, have you heard of NVIDIA? Nope, never have. Am I saying that right? NVIDIA? NVIDIA? Mm, you should waffle to this. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I'm waffling fine. <laughs> uh, I didn't know they made an anime of Atrioc. What are you talking about? It's not me. It's not even close to me. I mean, honestly, I don't normally say this. But like way more hair than me. Way more hair. <laughs> and also, I also I also do normally say this. Way bigger hands than me. <laughs> Look at the compare. The hand is bigger than the face. It's absurdly large hands. Uh, no, that doesn't. That doesn't. I don't see the comparison at all. Really. No. 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 No, not uncanny, not uncanny. No, no, no. You wish you were Kuwabara? Bro, I promise you. <laughs> you know what I wish? I wish you didn't know who that was. <laughs> I, think, I think if you didn't know who Kuwabara was, you'd have a happier life. I think, honestly, that's what I wish. I wish that for you. I'm like trying to... It's like I say a prayer for other people. How are you doing in the ESPN bracket? Bro, I, I swear to God, I, I don't know how to say this. You guys got to stop asking me about March Madness brackets every day. I, I I love that you love it. I do. I sincerely do. I got nothing against it, but I don't do it. I don't have an answer. I, don't, I can't think of something different to say every day about March Madness, bro. I don't have a bracket. Uh... Big A, I was supposed to be at my best friend's wedding. My wife's in a million. Sorry, what? Big A was supposed to be in my best friend's wedding. My wife's in a million. They ended up punting the bridal parties over drama with the bridesmaids. Plot twist, my wife is fucking marrying them. So she gets to be in it, but I don't. Bro, I literally can't decipher this. I actually... Normally when I say that, I'm kind of joking because I can just figure out what you mean when you say glizzy coffee. Like, I, I get it. I get it. I actually can't understand this. My big A, what? okay, so you were supposed to be my best friend's wedding. My wife's in a million. They ended up punting the bridal parties over drama. So there is no more bridal parties because the bridesmaids had drama. So you were maybe a a groomsman that got punted. Okay, I get it. I get. It. I got caught up. I got it. I got it. I got it. This man was gonna be in his best friend's wedding as a groomsman. I don't know where the my, my wife's in a million comes from, but then the bridesmaids had drama, so they dissolved both bridal parties. So no, no groomsmen, no, no bridesmaids. You are no longer part of the wedding. However, your wife is the preacher or the pastor, the one doing the marrying. So she gets to be in it. Holy shit. Women can be doctors. It's like the, <laughs> it's, it's like, wait, what's the, uh, what's the, uh, the joke? <laughs> His wife was the doctor. What is what is that? Uh, the doctor was a woman. What what is that? Uh, riddle. How does that go? I always forget. A father and a son get in a car crash and they're rushed to the hospital. The father dies. The boy is taken to the operating room and the surgeon says, I can't operate on this boy because he's my son. How is this possible? <laughs> that's, that's funny. 
That's like a common riddle, and people go, I don't know. I can't. How is it possible? How, how could it be possible? Obviously, the doctor was gay. There can't be a female surgeon. Uh... Big A, what if you added a waffling timer every stream? Do you mean the exact same thing as this, but it counts up? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> is it what do you, it's the same thing? This is a waffling timer, bro. I just, I don't, that doesn't, that wouldn't stop me. Mm. Ishra, can I get a million dollars? Thank you. No problem, bro. No problem, bro. You want a Lambo too? Who here wants a million bucks in a Lambo? Because I always hook my chatters up. You know what I'm saying? We are ride or die. We are a squad. I, I absolutely don't want any of you walking uh, walking around with less than a Lambo. Minimum. Uh, all right. Uh, mods ban everyone that said me because they're not real grinders. Real grinders don't want handouts, okay? The real grustlers want the grind. They said, I'll give you a million. I'll give you a Lambo, okay? Do you think I wasn't offered a million dollars in a Lambo? Of course I was. Warren Buffett offered it to me. Day one, as I started grinding, Warren Buffett said, you've got potential. I want to give you a million bucks in a Lambo. I said, Warren, I would rather eat fucking paint chips. And I was doing that anyway. <laughs> I was already macking on him as I was talking. Actually, I was speaking to him with a mouth full of paint chips. And I said, no. Uh... A million dollars or lunch with Big A. <laughs> so funny. Our lunch would be DoorDash Chipotle. And it would be me... I don't know, playing TFT while I wolf it down and not talk to you. <laughs> and then uh, it'll be over. Uh, that's worth it. That's Because you get to see a grustler at work. That's networking. And your network is your net worth. And I've always said that. You would make us pay for it too? Oh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did have who that. A man, a decade my junior, drive me to the airport and then pay for my Chipotle. I did do that. That is something that I can't erase from the conscience or from the global record. However, that made him smarter. That made him faster. That made him stronger. He's a better grinder than he was before, and he's a better grustler. And the opportunity cost for him... was zero. <laughs> uh, you are the Ellen of Twitch. Dear God. Dear God, that's insulting. Um, Matt, P.U. David, tier one, pretty much David, 12 months. Hey, hey, truck, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow and you were a dart monkey? What do I say to that, sir? It's, it's so not topical. <laughs> We, I haven't even really done balloons. I would pop a balloon. Oh, pop a balloon is what I would do. I would throw a dart at a balloon. That's what I would do. I don't know if that answers your good answer. Hey, wait, wait. Holy shit. Good answer. Wait a minute. Holy fuck. He actually knows his shit. I would go find Quincy's army and I would join it. I would pledge my allegiance to the goat. Uh... Quincy on the boat, he got engineers on deck He got many different monkeys doing better than the rest He got thousands in the bank and only two rounds left We got I unironically think that there are full-time artists, musicians who have worked for months, if not years, on albums that are objectively worse than this one. <laughs> I think the Papathon album is a classic. I think it's timeless. I think it evokes emotions. Uh, 
I think I, I think it's powerful. I think it's raw. I think it's real. I think it holds up. Um, I think Fantana would give it a strong eight without even the knowledge. And I think, you know, I give it a light 20 <laughs> based on the once I know what I know. So much faith that he's about to put to rest. On the stock came for the month. Quincy coming with the Blakey Village coming with the fuel. Taking those we take. Destroyed. Uh, Hayes K, motherfuckers. <laughs> No matter where I click in this full hour-long album, it's an hour-long album. You get full content. It's not like these new TikTok albums where they have like fucking five songs and half of them are chorus repeated twice and it's over. It's an hour-long album of full songs. You click anywhere. With you, with you, I found my place. Right in the corner. I took a look at when it's. Every monkey's popping in the blue light. We like our fun and we'll pop all night. Mm -hmm. You can't pop and stay uptight. We'll use the same strat one more time. Every monkey. Bro, I just. I Every time I think about chat during the Powathon, I get not ch all of chat, but the. I think they're called Type A chatters. This is a, this is a Northern Lion thing. Once I think about those people and how stupid they are, it really it actually mauls me. <laughs> they are so stupid. It's it's just it's so. Oh God, God! It's they're truly, the scum of Twitch. Um. Do, 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 do. Big A, I have someone who reports to me who documents another employee's inability to follow instructions to complete training. Ultimately ending with an e so they're a pocket watcher in a little bit. Would email pulling certain people from a project. How would you handle that? Interesting. You have an employee who has made it their mission to document other employees' negative qualities, send you a full report, and then pull people off the project? Do they have the authority over this project, or are they leapfrogging a bit? That part is really odd. Yeah, this is. I would. I would tell them to focus on their own work. That being said, um, you should also, if you are a plugged in boss in this situation, you need to look into this other employee. I mean, you are, it is your due diligence to find out because here's the thing, this is what's toxic. And I, I, people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but this is true. If you are in, let's say a team or a group project with someone who is not pulling their weight, significantly like relying on other people to do the work, it is demoralizing for the whole team. It does bring your team down. And people eventually start realizing that they should do the optimal thing and shy away from more work. What they start realizing is like by giving all their all, they are being freeloaded off of. And so they start they start pulling back and it's corrosive, it's toxic for the whole team. Um, so it is a real thing. Like if you have people that are literally uh, trying to do that when everybody else is motivating, it's a problem because it could be cancerous for what you're trying to do. Unfortunately, that is true. Um, hey, Shark, this is how I feel it in video right now. So hard. <laughs> so funny. Bro, everyone's rich now. Every single person there is fucking rich. Rest investing, dude. What do you, you can't, yeah, what are they going to do, bro? Uh, here's what I'll say. If you're in, if you're entering the workplace, there's two things you got to be. All right, either number one, you got to be really good at what you're doing, or number two, you got to be nice, like really nice. People like you. You're 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 a pleasure to work around. You don't bring bad vibes. If you don't do either of those things, <laughs> if you're not if you don't have a good personality or good at your job. <laughs> 
then you're, you know what I'm saying? You're at risk. You're at risk. Because uh, what you really are is someone who's not very helpful and is also people don't really like. <laughs> Be careful with that. That's all I'm saying. Uh, if you can do both, if you ever, even for, even for six months, if you're doing both, you'll rocket ship. I swear to God, you'll rocket ship. If you can, if you can find a way to, to do both, imagine, for example, this is a fictional example, but imagine where Dr. House would be, were he the same level of skill, but also really nice and easy to work with. <laughs> Just imagine where he would be in real life. He would be fucking Dean of Menace. I mean, he would be... He would be uh, <laughs> with the president. He would be. He would be. It would be unstoppable. It would be unstoppable. Um. So Foreman, no Foreman is terrible at his job. Do you not remember when he killed kids? Um. Unless you're an OnlyFans worker, being a prick to people can be a kink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a very specific counterexample. Um. I don't know that. Yes, I'm. That is correct. Uh, he got me there. You got me there. Uh, that you still need to be good at your job, though. Because you know, there's there's work to that. OnlyFans workers have to set up photo shoots and uh, get on a consistent schedule and promote. It's like it's like 98 marketing is OnlyFans because there's so many OnlyFans that you have to stand out. Again, 99.9 percent .9 make no money, and then the top percent make all of it. So it's still work. Otherwise, you're just someone who's an asshole that no one sees. <laughs> and no one sees your asshole. <laughs> you're an asshole and no one sees your asshole. It's the, it's a problem. That's You don't want that. Uh, that's a problem. What if you are a self-employed mommy femdom? <laughs> okay. All right, you guys are finding very specific examples that possibly, I'm not even sure if they do, but possibly contradict my axiom about two ways to go um and perhaps these are true but i think for most people they'll still fit into the buckets that i describe uh i actually really 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 i had this idea i've never i haven't pushed forward on it um i did it you know i got the producer for the actor stream i want to work with that producer again and try and move forward on things the idea was to talk to amaranth about the economics of only fans because it's actually very interesting in that it is like the most marketing based platform ever. There are like millions of people that are in terms of the, the product need they serve is functionally identical. And so the, the, the curve is like the most exponential of who makes money, even more than like Twitch. And it's all about marketing. It's literally all about how to make yours stand out over the million other ones. Uh, and I think as, She's mastered it. She's like the one at the top of the curve. Uh, I think it'd be very interesting. And, you know, uh, we talked, me and her. So that would be, I think it'd be easily set up. But I have to like get all the questions and everything. I have to like be ready. I can't just like be like, hey, can we do this? Uh, you should start a balloons only fan. Now, what would that entail? Be not specific. <laughs> be not specific. Uh... Hmm, latex. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 Why would he? Wait, are you, someone's asking me if I would know a Canadian bill from 2021 by its number, because it's getting media attention. I I haven't heard of it. I'm sorry. I don't, I definitely I don't think I can name a single bill off of its number. Pop in bio. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, very nice. Very nice. I give you that. Uh, I respect it. I respect it is what I do. What's your favorite glam rock album? Oh my God, I have an idea. Wait, have you guys seen this? You saying glam rock triggered me to this insane insane uh technological advancement that okay um yes i i do i do have my favorite glam rock album you guys don't know this um you guys actually don't know this 
that it's a big deal though. So back in the eighties, there was a band that wrote about uh, things that were relevant and interesting to me now. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, for example, some people like me um, really, really like their burgers a certain way. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? You know how like I like my burgers a little different than other people. <laughs> Wait, wait, sorry. Gonna take it to a place where the taste is wild. Where the rip is loud and the flavors go wild. Oh, sorry, no sorry, 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 sorry. down the street. No, Cruising down the step. Windows down. Looking for a burning joint. Gotta find the best in town. I want something wild. Something that'll blow my mind. Absolute great song. And then there was another great one they had in the album. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Suno, which is a fucking AI song generator that is spooking the hell out of me. Uh, I just saw it on fucking Twitter. It creates a song in like 30 seconds with lyrics based on anything. So for example, I mean... Uh, Give me an example. We'll try it right now. I swear to God, it's going to blow your mind. Uh, glizzy hands. Glizzies. Glizzy, glizzy, glizzy. Okay. Make a K-pop song about hot dogs that says glizzy a lot. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out if this works. Again, I just pressed the button. I just pressed the button. Like literally right now, I type that in, I press the button and within, there it is, it's done. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, all I typed was make a K-pop song about hot dogs that says glizzy a lot. And in 30 seconds, I have a song called Glizzy Fever. <laughs> now let's see what it made. Again, I didn't I should give it more details, but that's what I typed. It's called Glizzy Fever. Let's see what it created. Um All right, I'll give you, this is also the, this is the, sorry, before I hit play, I just want to give you the context. Um, okay. Wait, nope, wrong one. Uh, we can't hear it? No, 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 no. Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. I have to, um, it showed me the lyrics first. It showed me the lyrics and it showed me the cover art. I'm trying to, wait. Uh, sorry, big guy, I came down with the glazy fever. Yugoslavia forever will always be the best AI song of all time. Plot. Well, the, the way I heard about this was, um, the, was somebody on social media was like, they typed in, make a song about baseball, a heavy metal song about baseball. Do I have this? 
and it was like the crack of the bat the thunder is sound and i was like wait a minute wait that's fucking crazy like how did it like the the lyrics were on point and it made it on the and i was like wait that's fucking crazy and so i looked into it and then i tried it out with fucking lettuce buns and it was it was instant all right sorry play 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 there it is uh glizzy fever this is the this is the cover art walking down the street feeling kind of hungry looking for a snack something that's straight on me then i say it's that come on somebody and cheat hot dogs on the grill so what you see and see me one word i love is the flavor sensation lazy in my hand i can feel the tension saucy and spicy it's like a celebration certainly this website is going to get sued because they definitely trained on copyright song material <laughs> 100% 100% they're going to get sued but for now I mean I don't know it's just I mean like that was 30 seconds bro it, and then it gives you options here's the other option Walking down the street, it's a male version hungry, looking for something that's real yummy Endeavor. By the way, when it's a male singer and they say, what? <laughs> uh, Glizzy in my hand, I can feel the temptation. It doesn't have the same. <laughs> I thought the, that line didn't hit as hard. Uh, um, but it's crazy. It happened. So I was, I was, we were, we were doing the magic draft um, over at Rachel and Blur's. And while everyone was drafting, I just thought, okay, what if I asked it to make a theme song for friends drafting? And while we were drafting, I just put my phone on the table and played it. And it played, it played this. Uh, wait. Sitting around the table, cards in our hands, ready to summon creatures, cast spells, grand. Friends by side, ready to compete. Drafting magic, the gathering can't be beat. We open boosters full of mystery. Building that's a powered strategy. Each card carefully chosen, a perfect blend. With our skills combined, we'll transcend. Magic in the cards, friendships are made. In a world of fantasy, where dreams never fade. <laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy? What was the prompt? The prompt was make a theme song about drafting Magic the Gathering with friends. That's all I wrote. That's all I wrote. It does all the lyrics. If it, it picked the, that's crazy. Um, I asked to make a song about wearing a hundred shirts. Yeah. 
face until I see your face. Anticipations got me in a daze. But until that time, I keep myself amused. I wear a hundred shirts just to feel close to you. A hundred shirts, a hundred layers of love. It's just odd. It's just odd. Uh, what else can we try having it make? The thing it's really bad at is rap. So I tried it with rap songs. It's not. It's not very good. Um, obviously, it becomes more apparent that it's like not real. Do electronic. Uh, jazz. Is there a lot of lyrics in jazz? You need like. Um, do one about how singing robots are the signal of the beginning of the end. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> what genre? Uh, can it do screamo? I asked her to write a song about my cat. Listen to this. <laughs> Do one for what's up Beijing. Um a Dr. Carbonation themes. How is it a pop punk? Write a pop okay. Uh pop punk song about what? Pop punk style song about what? About Xi Jinping, <laughs> how great Xi Jinping is. <laughs> okay, that'll be a good intro into What's Up Beijing. <laughs> this one's called Forever Xi Jinping. Lil Bro is not getting led into China. If I'm wearing this shirt playing that song, you think I won't get led into China? You're crazy. You're crazy. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be right hand man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be up there in the Politburo. Uh, it's still spinning. It it made the lyrics and the. What is the cover art? <laughs> the co uh, <laughs> I just noticed this is the cover art it made for drafting magic with friends. You know, our group was a little more diverse than this. <laughs> the magic cards are as big as fucking plates. And it just recreated fucking 17 white guys around the table. That's so funny. I'm probably the only person there that look like this. That's crazy. All right, forever Xi Jinping. He's the leader we need. He's the one we adore. Exit thing knocking at our door. His strong resolve and his guiding hand. He's taking us to the promised land. He's fighting corruption.
Damn, that goes the What's the male version? He's a real oh. idiot. He's the one we adore. Seeing Ping knocking on our door <laughs> with a strong resolve. They can't say Xi Jinping. <laughs> Like the the voice won't say it right. They just say. That's what humans will be for in the future. That's what humans will add is the AI will make the full song and then someone will record Xi Jinping. <laughs> Because we can still pronounce that. That's why. That's why we. That's why we are irreplaceable. That is phenomenally crazy. Uh, a new China album <laughs> for the 21st century. What a banger. I mean, it's fucking wild, dude. It's all I'm saying is it's wild. What else? 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 Um, Disney intro kind of vibe. Disney intro song about what? A Disney intro song about Hitman Horse. <sighs> they won't know what Hitman Horse is. It won't work. Oh, a Disney song about a villain named Dr. Carbonation. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Uh, I think I spelled villain wrong. Shit. I spelled it as hero. My mistake. Um, about marketing on days other than Monday. Bro, I haven't missed a Monday in five Mondays. Five. When do you guys start giving me credit? I am missing next week because I'll not be in the country. Next week, we're doing a, a marketing Wednesday or something when I get back. Five Mondays, bro. Nobody gives me flowers for five Mondays straight. Uh, Pre-record next week? <laughs> I leave fucking tomorrow morning. I'm not fucking pre-recording a marketing Monday a week ahead. Suck my dick. Uh... <laughs> bro it's literally your job bro okay well i didn't do it on monday for two years and i made plenty of money off this so i don't think it was my job then <laughs> okay it's me focusing up Uh, I've been making a marketing Monday wrapped at the end of the year. So I've been keeping track. Don't keep track. <laughs> Make a song. Okay. Let's see. The mischievous Dr. Carbonation. In the shadows, he lurks with an evil plan in hand. Dr. Carbonation, the villain of the land. With his wicked grin and a mind full of schemes. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his dream. He brews his potions, bubbling with deceit. A master of darkness, his thirst for power complete. With a vial of chaos, he spreads his wicked ways, leaving behind a trail of mischief and hate. Sheesh. Chills. Oh, Dr. Carbonation, the villain we despise With his twisted mind and his treacherous lies But we'll stand strong, united we will be For in the end, love and light will set us free Spooky! Dude, some people saying, is this AI? That's crazy. 
not discernible to them. And then some of you saying, is this drop spindle? As if any woman singing is drop spindle. <laughs> some of you do this all the time. Anytime, anytime uh, woman singing, there must be drop spindle. Uh, no, the drop spindle, there's no more. That was the end. It cut off. What about the male version? In the shadows, oh. he looks with an evil plan in hand. Oh my God. Frozen? Dr. Watch Carbonate. out. Watch out, Frozen, because Dr. Carbonation is coming for that box office. The villain of the land. With his wicked grin and a mind full of scheme, he'll stop at nothing to achieve his dream. He brews his potions bubbling with deceit. <laughs> The master of darkness is thirst for power complete. <laughs> Damn, he seems truly evil. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. It was crazy about it is that I don't think it shows the full picture of Dr. Carbonation. I know it's just a joke song, but it feels like it almost paints him as just a pure bad guy when really... He's got some good ideas that people don't seem to talk about enough. Uh, better than Hamilton? Can it do a Hamilton? Write a Hamilton-style musical parody about what? About what? Uh, the Canadian, Canadian housing market. <laughs> this is going to be bad. There's no way this works. There's no way. A Hamilton style musical parody about the Canadian housing market? There's no way. Um, write a political anthem for Joe Biden called The Return of Dark Brandon. I'm just gonna get a bunch of them going, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> um, an S3K anime intro write a high energy anime intro song anime intro theme song for a an anime called Soldier 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 King Okay. Wait, this is Canadian housing market. In the land of protein and hockey games, <laughs> there's a housing market with some serious claims. From Vancouver to Toronto, we've got it all. A Maplewood mania, watch the prices, they'll make you fall. There's a bit in war, people fighting to buy, mortgages skyrocket. It's no longer shot. Toronto, oh, Los we're cooked. Vancouver, we're cooked. On the rise. Oh, Canada, can't you hear the housing cry? Oh, my people God. <laughs> oh, my God, God it cooked. When it cooked. message finally music with a real message dude i'm top commenting this shit who's still watching in 2024 back when music used to be real bro when you talk about real shit like the housing prices in canada wow that's fucking crazy alt version in the land of poutine <laughs> and hockey games 
<laughs> There's a housing market with some serious claims. From Vancouver to Toronto, we've got it all. A maple would many a watch the prices they'll make you fall. Ooh, yeah. There's a bidding war, people fighting to buy. Mortgages skyrocket. It's no longer shot. That's crazy. All right, wait, what about what about uh what about this? This was uh this was Joe Biden. <laughs> this is Joe Biden's rock anthem to to win the election okay the return of dark brandon from the ashes of division and despair comes the strength of a leader who will repair in the darkest times he'll be our guiding light joe biden rising ready to fight He lost every state. <laughs> he lost California. <laughs> uh, it needs a Kamala verse. He'll bridge the gaps and heal the wounds we bear. Joe Biden leading with empathy and care. Ooh, yeah. Uh, All right, what was there all, all than that? From the ashes of division and despair. <laughs> I want to hear the chorus. I want to hear the chorus. That's the energy he needs. I swear to God, you play that at a, at a rally? <laughs> they do also like worship songs, but... All right, this is the S3K anime intro. Warrior to lead the way. Dude, if I had had this when I originally ran the gambit, Toph would have been actually convinced. If somehow we had this song. <laughs> With a fan animation? The spinal strength will rise above In the name of justice we'll protect the, the ones we love, love. Warrior of ages born to lead the way Yeah, that's incredible. What's the other version? Warrior of ages born to lead the way <laughs> With fire in our hearts we face a brand no. Nah, it's not as good. Not as good. Not as good. Not as good. This is fucking crazy. That's the mid-season intro. <laughs> um, 
Finally, that stupid mustache is gone. Write me a diss track against someone named Jack Clue for being a huge, stupid idiot. Judgmental idiot. How about that? How about that? <laughs> How about that? Okay. Uh, what else can we make? Well, you gotta get multiple. You have to, oh, <laughs> couldn't generate that. The song description was flagged for moderation. <laughs> I can get around this. No way they can stop. Uh. Did you see that a psycho? Yeah, dude, there was a psychology teacher that had 25 students in their class and they put out a uh, announcement that said, hey, if any of you have in their psychology or philosophy, I forget which one it was. Anyway, they put out a thing that said, if any of you have used chat GPT, send me a personal email. If you admit to it now, you'll get amnesty. Nobody will get in trouble if you sent it. It was philosophy. 23 out of the 25 kids admitted it. <laughs> 20, 23 out of the 25. Dude, look. Look at this. We're cooked, bro. We are fucking cooked. Hello, friend. Dude, half of these apologies are written with chat GPT. <laughs> Hello, professor. I just saw your most recent announcement. I want to let you know that I also... Bro, this is crazy. It's cooked to a crisp. It's burnt. The world is not ready for this shit. I swear to God. Uh, the two guys were held strong. <laughs> All right, wait. What about this Jack Clue? Uh, Jack Clue, you think you're so cool. But let me tell you, you're just a fool. Yeah, that's right, Jack Clue. I got Tom McDonald to roast you, bitch. Stay off my mustache. Uh. <laughs> uh, V two. Let's see. Jack Clue, you think you're so cool, but let me tell you, you're just a fool. Yeah, judging everyone, talking smack, but I see through you. It's all an act. Oh yeah. You walk around with that smart smile, thinking you're the king, but it's been a while. Your words are venom, full of deceit, but I won't let you bring me down to your level, beat by beat. Oh yeah. No more clues, no more, no more games. games. I'm done with you and your toxic ways. No more clues, I'm breaking free. You're just a bad memory, no longer a part of me. <laughs> <laughs> this artist would make bank performing at K5 schools for anti-bullying. Easy money. E well, now that job's taken by AI. Insane. You think Ska would be fire? Write a Ska song about what? About what? What Ska song? Um, Coffee Cows? About, <laughs> about the collapse of Enron. <laughs> okay. Let, well, that one cooks. Give me something else. Give me something else. Um, right. I need a different genre. A gospel song? A gospel song about Sam 
Bankman Freed <laughs> and his return to glory uh, and his redemption. Yeah, okay. And then a new metal Linkin Park style song about what? Um, about the downfall of Boeing. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. This is too powerful. This is too powerful. All right. Give me one more. We'll do one about sports betting. Um, uh, it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me do that because it had uh, Linkin Park, <laughs> a new metal style. Okay. I'll just say an early 2000s new metal style song. I know you're ripping off Linkin Park. Okay. I know you are training on Lincoln Park just because I can't say it because you don't want to get sued. I know what you're doing. Um, a bluegrass song about sports gambling. Okay, wait. Midwest emo about <laughs> Midwest emo song about sports betting. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, a sea shanty. A sea shanty about what? A sea shanty about what? About um the League of Legends player Faker. Okay. So this is the fall of Enron ska song. Oh, Enron, you thought you had it all. With your fancy and jumps and tricks, you had us to call. But your empire built on lies was destined to fall. Now we're picking up the pieces, trying to stand tall. Enron, oh, Enron, you're the genius, plain to see. You thought you could cheat the system, but you couldn't fool me. We're dancing to the beat of justice. Move all right, what's the alternative? When Ron, you thought you had it all. With your fancy county trips, you had us in fall. But your empire built on lies was destined to fall. Now we're picking up the pieces, trying to stand tall. And Ron, oh, I never to see this plain to see. You thought you could cheat the system, but you could fool me. Now we're dancing to the beat of justice, moving to a star. And Ron. Tell me about the CEO! Oh, Ken Lay and Jeff Skilling, you played the thing too well. <laughs> but your greed and corruption, they eventually fell. <laughs> you thought you were invincible, but the truth would prevail. <laughs> now we're skanking to the rhythm, watching you do it. We're skanking to the rhythm? That, they don't say that in Scott. <laughs> We're skanking. All right, it has some, it has some, it has some missteps. It has some flaws. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't say we're skanking. It is. It's a ska term. No, you're joking. <laughs> All right, rise of the redeemed. This is a gospel song. Everyone, please pray. Chat, can I get a prayer, please? Bow your heads. This is a gospel song about Sam Bankman Fried's redemption. Okay, please have some respect. Was lost in darkness, mm, so in despair, walking the path of grief with no care. Nah, -uh. but then the light shone bright, breaking through the night. Sam, bang, breaking through the night. Sam Bankman Fry <laughs> found his way to the light. Fry. A man of power <laughs> with riches untold, but deep inside his heart was so cold. He heard the voice of grace calling out his name. Sam Bankman Fry. Yes, Lord! Oh, rise up, rise up, the redeemed is here. <laughs> Sam and them found sin, he found his way. Now his soul Hallelujah. is free. 
beautiful song. Oh my God! Wait, what's the alt? Once lost in darkness. <laughs> Do they still say fried? A soul is and a light shone bright, breaking through the night. Sam Bankman Fried <laughs> found his way to the light. A man of power. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, they're going to scam so many old people with this. Oh my god, dude. They're going to be able to pump out gospel songs about your nephew or something and just print money. Uh this is going to be a problem. This is going to be crazy. Um Oh, that's spooky. Uh, yeah, gospel Trump songs, new one every day with your name in it. Oh, my God. This is going to actually scam old people like crazy. Uh, send 50K to save your nephew's life. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. You know what we need to pray for? We need to write a song uh, praying for... Um, <laughs> Uh, the recording industry's lawyers to get this taken down. <laughs> I never thought I'd cheer for them, but we have to cheer for the RIAA just once, bro. Just once. All right, we have the Midwest emo song about uh, sports gambling. I'm sitting here alone in this room, staring out the window, watching the afternoon. Thinking about the choices that I've made And mistakes I've placed so high on a game of trade Holy shit I lost it all It slipped through my hands Like sand in a hourglass It drifted like the winds <laughs> The highs and lows The thrill of it <laughs> this is so funny because if this was on an album from a band you like you guys literally some of you would literally listen to this unironically unironically that is like oh yeah that was my favorite tracks that was <laughs> one of the better tracks like it was real emotional <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're cooked. We're cooked. Oh, Tani's translator got this on loop. <laughs> all right, let me hear the alt. Let me hear the alt. I'm sitting here alone in this room, staring out the window. Watching the afternoon Thinking about the choices that I made And the stakes I play so high On a game of tray I lost it all, it slipped through my hands <laughs> Like sand in an hourglass <laughs> Oh shit! It drifted <laughs> like the <laughs> On beats. The highs and lows, the thrill of it all all right, well, that's fucking crazy. What about a sea shanty about League of Legends pro Faker? The legend of Faker. Oh, gather round, say, listen, I'll tell you a tale about a player so epic, it'll make your jaw quail. He's a master assassin in the summoner's rift. With his flashy plays, he gives us all a lift. 
Dodge a skill shot with moves that are sick. <laughs> Fake as the one <laughs> making plays so quick. <laughs> Wow, new world song leaked? Oh, gather round sailors and I'll tell a tale About to play a so epic it'll make your jaw quail His name is Faker, master of the mid lane With his skills and his smarts, he's driving us insane oh, Faker, Faker, the legend we hail Crushing his opponents with no fear to fail With his great reflexes and his mind so keen Master assassin in the summoner's rift With his flashy plays, he gives us all a lift Dodging skill shots with moves that are sick Uh, incredible, incredible, incredible Uh, that is a real world song Is this Dropkick Murphys? Perhaps They were hired by Riot Do a bluegrass song about Putin's re-election <laughs> wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like a, um, what do they call like modern bro country? Like what, like, uh, what is like the, what is that called? Um, is it just bro country? Stadium country? Write a bro, write a bro country song about. How great it is that Vladimir Putin got reelected. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> uh, song about sugary cereals. Um, wait, what else? We got we to gotta cook more while these are doing it. And this is probably the last round. This is pretty good. Um, Gregorian chant. Make a Greg... Gorian chant about Elon Musk buying Twitter. Okay. Um. An operatic song about NVIDIA stock hitting all time highs. <laughs> a reggae song about how prohibition was good <laughs> oh dude no wait 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 make a reggae song about how smoking weed is bad for you <laughs> that's perfect that's perfect <laughs> Okay, wait, let me hear this Vladimir Putin song. This is a Vladimir bro country. <laughs> okay. Cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my Putin tattoo. <laughs> we elected Putin, man, ain't that cool? Brotherhood of man sticking like blue. He's a tough leader, strong and wise. Stands up for his country, never come. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, and my boot tattoo. <laughs> Wait, let me. Let me hear the all. Cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my poop tattoo. <laughs> all right, that's it. That voice is a little off. Reelecting Putin, man, ain't that cool? Brotherhood of man, sticking like glue. Oh, okay. First one was better. First one, that was amazing. Cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my Putin tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm putting that on the soundboard. That has to be on the soundboard. That that has to be. That is a fucking. That is an all timer. That is so funny. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't have thought of that if you gave me a fucking week. That's so. That's a, that's crazy. Uh. Uh. That's crazy. Uh, wait, I might actually need... Can someone give me that clip? I might just clip the beginning and tweet that and say I asked <laughs> Suno to generate a country song about Putin election and then they just... I think that's actually insane. All right. Um, Cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my Putin tattoo. <laughs> That's actually so funny. That's actually just that's that's crazy. I can't believe that it made it and that hit like that. Um. <laughs> All right, I can't deal with it. All right, wait, wait, we have other stuff. We got we have other stuff. We got a, a Gregorian chant about Elon Musk buying Twitter. In the realm of social media, tale unfolds a visionary man with a mission untold. Elon Musk, the mastermind of innovation, intrigued by Twitter. A divine revelation. I don't think that's a Gregorian chant, but it's... He gazes at his screen, <laughs> his mind starts to soar, an idea forms one never seen before, <laughs> with a stroke of brilliance, he makes his move, buying <laughs> Twitter his vision set to that's not how I would describe it as a stroke of brilliance where he made his move. Alt version, maybe? In the realm of social media, <laughs> no, this is like, it's almost like another Disney song. Yeah, like a Lord of the Rings kind of. I do think he would like this song, which is sad. <laughs> I do think he would retweet that. Um, all right, what about this dramatic operatic song about NVIDIA stock hitting all-time highs? In the realm of fortunes we are dreams of wealth and power <laughs> Yes, the wine. Ah, yes. Can I under? I, it's just like most opera where I can't understand it. <laughs> Fortunes will attain on faults where dreams and power to reside. Was a time when Nvidia stopped to fall and reached the heavens soaring with dreams. This is what everyone who bought Nvidia stock will be watching when we sit in our fancy opera chairs. Um, okay, and then we had one more, which was, I think, going to be my finale before I do Was Up Beijing, because I still want to get to that. Uh, and that is Clear the Smoke, a reggae song about how smoking weed is bad for you. 
Every day I see smoke rising to the sky People puffing on the ganja thinking it's alright But let me tell you a little something Let me be clear Smoking weed ain't the answer It's time to steal Amen They say it's medicine It helps to ease the pain this is what Bob Marley would have wanted. Let me tell you, my friend, it's just a foolish game. Foolish game. It clouds the mind and it does the senses. Leaving you trapped in the head. Bob Barley. What's the alt? Every day I see smoke <laughs> rising to the sky. People puffing on the ganja thinking it's alright. But let me tell you a little something, let me be clear. Smoking weed ain't the answer, it's time to steal. They say it's medicine, it helps to ease the pain. <laughs> Oh, but good. let me we tell so you, close. my friend, it's just a foolish <laughs> game. <laughs> Asking your friends to pass the ox and you put this on. You put on mob barley. Uh, don't light it, dude. It Clear clouds smoke. your mind and it does your senses. Leaving you trapped in a haze with no defenses. Clear the smoke. So my question is, yeah, how much of this VOD gets muted? That's the real question. Is it so... I wonder, I wonder if any of it. I wonder if any of it. Uh, someone could release this, it bangs. What is this? Palm Tree Serenade. Welcome everyone to the Roadhouse. Are you ready for great music? Yeah! Can't hear you! Under the palm tree where the ocean meets the sand I found my heart's rhythm with a guitar in my hand The breeze was a DJ spinning in the sky tonight Insane that it made a live version. Insane that it added a crowd. As we sway to the rhythm under the moonlight. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be cooked, dude. I, I swear to God, the next 20 years are going to be insane. Just absolutely fucking insane. It's going to be... Uh, it's crazy, bro. I... I <laughs> It's going to be crazy, bro. I really, I'm not 100% sure how we handle it. I know, I mean, this is funny. I think this stream is funny, but I'm also 100% unsure how society responds to being able to create uh, a fake live vocal song on the fly. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's good. It's, that's crazy. Um,. It's funny on stream that someone's gonna upload all these as possible. I mean, we may get to a thing where it's like, I don't know, they can track it and identify it like somehow digitally, and then just we just ban it from everywhere. Like I know, I know Amazon is trying very hard to like just get all AI stuff off of Amazon, but they're not successful thus far. So I don't know. I don't like if Spotify could ban all this shit, maybe they would, but I, I don't. Um, People would able to create bad music for years is just streamlined. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, but I, I think that's the problem is like people have been able to create bad cookbooks for years, right? But once you can generate it in eight seconds and it looks real, it's hard to tell, then suddenly it, the the amount on the internet is so exponential. It's the dead internet theory where it overwhelms everything else and it's hard to find the real stuff. That's the problem. 
Um, it's the it's kind of the quantity problem. It floods it. So we need like a way to identify it at scale. It can't be like humans like guessing, and checking everything. And that, yeah, there's got to be a way. Otherwise, I don't know. It's going to be a real war. It's going to be interesting. Um, I, don't, I mean, I, like, I, I think like AI for like medical technology is going to be incredible. I do think like the fact that someone in a worse area or has a grumpy doctor one day <laughs> gets worse quality of care and we could have something trained on every disease and like instantly give you a great diagnosis. I think that's like awesome. I think there's potential in there. I think like there's going to be cool benefits to this, but in certain areas, especially the creative fields, it's worrying. And I don't think like this is anywhere close to like a real artist yet, uh, even though we're joking about it. But I, you know, I know how this was even two years ago, right? And then I look at it now. I just the the level of progress is crazy. Um. Do 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 do. Um. Oh shit, fire alarm. Oh shit, I said I, I've been cooking. I'm cooking too much. I'm cooking too much. Uh cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my Putin tattoo. We elected Putin, man, ain't that cool? Never compromises. Got that swagger, that Putin style. Making Russia great mile after mile. Putin's back in the game. He's a man in the Kremlin. Keeping the world on his toes. Yeah, you better listen. Vladimir Putin, he's got that power and might. Well, can't you stand? Good dog. It's okay. Good dog. She's like shivering. <laughs> what a good dog. What a good dog. What a sweet puppy you are. Yes, you're very sweet. Everybody knows you're the sweetest dog. Um, was it an actual fire? No, Ari's cooking steaks and uh, there's smoke. There's smoke in the kitchen. What is this dog voice? It's not I talk my dog. Dog. My new now you're such a sweet dog, very sweet dog. Um. 10 p.m. steaks. We eat dinner late because I stream. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, without further ado, my it's okay. You can get down. You good? You don't want to leave? <laughs> wow, you don't want to leave the stream for once? You're not, you're a little spooked? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, all right, we got a bit of a dog stream. You're shedding, you're shedding so much. You're shedding all over. You wanna hear the Putin song? Cruising down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my Putin tattoo. We elected Putin. <laughs> uh, can I pet that dog? Uh, unfortunately, they haven't added the ability for streamers to reach through and pet yet. But, <laughs> and I hope they don't. I hope they don't. <laughs> it's gonna really make the hot tub area <laughs> bad. Um, ba da ba da ba, ba da ba ba. Ba da ba ba da ba, shooby dooby doo, do 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 do, a rip dip do do do, shoot do 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 do. Hey, by the way, uh, I have been tagged in this like literally two hundred times today. I am not this guy, <laughs> the Neuralink brain implant guy that stayed up playing all night Civ Six. I've got so many people saying, Adriel, Adriel, Adriel. I got DMs. 
Fucking Jarvis. <laughs> I had a bunch of people sending me this. It's not me. It's just a white dude with a hat. All right. Uh, -da -da -da. I'm not even wearing a hat. Maybe she's spooked. Alert. Oh, what is that? It's the A5 Wagyu. Oh, shoot. Wait, be careful because it's really rich. It's very rich. Right? And I brought the cauliflower so you can balance it. I do cauliflower first? No, just eat it like a bite and then eat the cauliflower if it's too rich. It'll like explode in your mouth. That's very good. That's fucked up, isn't it? That's like fucked I up. Scream. I don't know if you heard my scream. That was when you ate it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was because of the fire. No, you heard it. No, it's because I had my first bite. <laughs> Sorry. And she's you. like shaking. I, I forgot to turn on the fan. I was like spearing it, you know? Mm. That's pretty delicious. Yeah. It's like too rich, right? No, it's not too rich. I want the whole thing. Oh, I think it's so rich. Like, I almost be one. Man, she's such a sweet dog. I'm not going to take her because she's okay. shedding all over. All right. Like, I'm actually covered in. Oh, she kicked fur. my boob. Look at mm. this dog who's very terrified, she's right? She's very now. dog. <laughs> Come on, you, you don't even be in here. She doesn't want to be in here. Alright, sure. No, oh. keep it. I want to eat it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Is there more? I might come join you. Uh, after. no. Well, <laughs> there's one more strip of that size. Okay. Like, the steak is this big. Oh, yeah. So, okay. I already, I basically ate like two, I well, see. like one and a half, maybe. So, I'm I can bring you the other one right one now. One more bite. Do you oh. want more cauliflower? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm hungry, so this is all good. Did you bring some steak for chat? Or <laughs> feels like like I'm just eating steak in front of them. Wag you, bro is sending food back. <laughs> um, chef, this isn't exactly what. Um, for the food, there's pork. This oh, is just like no, this is a awesome. decadence, you know. This is like what are the French terms like hors d'oeuvres? I don't know, horse d'oeuvre. Derby I think it's horse first. derby. It's horse derby, right? <laughs> yeah, it's classic or horse like, derby. Or like, is it aperitif? Or uh, perhaps... I think it's horse derby. Words? We should probably brush up on French stuff. Babe, you gotta take a smaller bite because it's too rich. No, I'm enjoying it. It's very tasty. Okay. We were doing uh, songs. Do you want to hear this one? Uh, no. I remember we did the sardine uh -oh. song. Oh, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, listen to this one. This is a country song oh, nice. about Vladimir Putin getting elected in Russia. Oh, Cruising okay. down the street, red, white, and blue. Got my truck, my beer, my Putin tattoo. We elected Putin, man, ain't that cool? Brotherhood of man sticking like glue. He's a tough leader, strong and isn't that crazy? Do they like do any research for when they make the song? No, I mean it just I guess pulls off the internet. <laughs> okay. Alright, well enjoy the meat. Alright, thank you. Thanks, yeah. babe. Well, you meet, huh? It is quite tasty. <laughs> Good one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we've delayed for far too long. But I have to do this. Uh, there's no getting around it. I got delayed by, by the encroachment of AI music into our very lives. But I'm wearing this Xi Jinping shirt for a reason. Actually, let me blow my nose, dude. I gotta blow my nose. Uh, one second. Bob Frog. Now that's a song. What's up? Some streamers try to read out all of the subs, but Big A will only read maybe one. Maybe one or two or three, but there's dozens more he doesn't seem to see. It's up for 16 months, what do you get? The streamer ignores you with no regret. He keeps on doing the one me and I can't call. I hope he knows I won't be serving no more. I was watching.
a day, day after my nine to five. My sub had expired, so I renewed it live. This sounds like AI. That's so insulting. <laughs> that's so that's so rude to say to a real artist after you watch. Uh that is not as a fucking authentic fan song. Um um, uh, no, I'm not gonna ban him, bro. Guys, relax. <laughs> God, everyone's turned into a mob. Uh, where is this? So, without further ado, I'm wearing this Xi Jinping shirt for a reason. And that is because on my last day before I leave for Copenhagen, I wanted to give you an update on what's going on in China in a segment we like to call. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's Up Beijing, a look into what's going on in the world of China. Uh, today, we have three interesting stories for you, starting with a question, a simple question. Does my PowerPoint work <laughs> is the question. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Hold up one second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm dreaming of this working just like the dreams I used to know. Hey, look, while I'm doing this, you get to have a better picture of the Chinese flag. So it's a win. All right, let's get this like this. Um... And then What's up, Beijing? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's Up Beijing. The stories going on in the world of China. Today, we have three interesting stories coming to you from Chinese social media, starting with a question. Do you ever feel like a paper? No. Do you ever feel like this? when it's time to wake up and go to work. Do you ever feel like you wanna just stay in bed? That perhaps you don't wanna get out of bed, commute to work and go do something. Maybe it's school, maybe it's work, but maybe there's like a routine you have to do and you're just like, ah, I'd rather sleep. You ever feel like that? You ever feel like this? Sitting over a laptop, frustrated, regretting whatever put you in this situation where you have to sit there and grind something you don't like. Do you ever feel like that? Well. China has the solution for you. Ladies and gentlemen, lottery tickets. <laughs> it turns out it's lottery tickets. This brand new trend on Chinese social media was created as called a laborer's guide to saving yourself. Step one is to bring a lottery scratcher to work. This went viral on Chinese social media. And the idea is as follows. You buy one of these uh, multiple number scratchers, put it by your desk at your work, <laughs> and then when you come in for work, you scratch off one at a time. So before you start working, you scratch off one. Now, when you do that, there are only three options. Number one, you don't win anything. That, that, that scratch is empty. You sigh and continue working. <laughs> Normal, fine. Number two, oh, you have a small win. Okay, now you can get yourself a little treat. Now if it's lunchtime, you get some boba or something, okay? You've had a small little win. Or number three, you get a big win and you can quit your job altogether. <laughs> it's like an IRL login bonus, correct? It is gamifying every day like you're playing a video game. So now, <laughs> people all over China are posting how they suddenly fell in love with working by scratching one number a day. You'll look forward to going to work. Yesterday was a weekend, so I'll scratch two this evening. They're just keeping this by their desk. Hashtag I love work, hashtag the daily life of labor, hashtag lottery scratchers. Uh, my coworker hasn't been late to work recently because he's secretly been using the newest clock-in trend. I recommend everyone try out scratchers. Stick one on your desk and you'll look forward to going work every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new way to clock into work, lottery scratchers. 
Here's your contract. You can help me go to work pain free. I wholeheartedly suggest every laborer put a scratcher on their desk. Scratch one number a day. You'll look forward to going to work. Today's another day closer to becoming rich. <laughs> we got to do this. Get this going in America. Uh, lottery treasure. One scratch a day. Quit your job if you win. Keep working if you don't. Today I'm starting a new scratcher. Here it comes. My faith in going to work. I just brought a brand name. Oh, they don't say that name. Lottery scratcher. If I scratch one number a day, when I finish the whole scratcher, 20 days will have passed, and then a month will have passed. Every day I start looking forward to going to work to see if I've won anything. The whole key to it is that they keep the scratcher at work and only allow themselves one per day. So it's like apparently a way to get you enough energy to go to work because you might win. <laughs> the idea is to get you over that one hump uh to see if you can get to work and do one scratch my clock in sheet i scratch this guy scratches a whole row every day if i actually win i'll quit and go travel the world this is what motivates me to work <laughs> if you're going through a row a day you're i mean that is, it's like taxing yourself but of course it works obviously gambling works and you will win and this is inspiring um scratch one number a day what you guys don't know is that uh, off stream, before I go live, I scratch one every day. <laughs> before I have to stream to you fucks, I, I'm always praying. I'm praying it hits, bro. I'll buy myself 200 subs. Uh, this person, scratch one number a day. This is what I look forward to at work every day. One scratch a day. I've already won 81 on my sixth day. Next to a bottle of pills. <laughs> so... Uh, everyone is dreaming of lottery tickets. And again, there is some economic impetus for this. China's lottery ticket sales have soared recently amid a weaker economy and weaker job prospects. Obviously, in times of uh, economic trouble, people are more likely to try for a huge max win. I, I don't think there's a huge difference between the, this and the rise of sports betting in America. I think people, or crypto, people are looking for high-risk options uh to escape the you know uh cycle of a ever more expensive economy um but there was one guy who found a way to do it that was a little bit suspicious so this man in china bought 50,000 lottery tickets with the exact same numbers and for some reason they hit <laughs> He matched all seven numbers, 40, 41, 42, 44, 63, 64. Every single one of those tickets was a win. <laughs> uh, the man is unidentified, generational talent, really. The man is unidentified, so they don't have to reveal their name in China. And sneakily, um, there's a bit of a tax loophole. <laughs> so it turns out if you get a prize that's under 10,000 yuan, then you don't have your income tax is exempt and that counts per ticket. <laughs> so even though this person made 220 million won, they pay no tax on any of it because they split it across 15,000 tickets. <laughs> Obviously some people in China are a little skeptical about the results. <laughs> Whether the guy may be at insider information or perhaps was tied to organized crime, but so far, there's been no punishments. So if you could pull that, all you have to do is this. If you want to escape the rat race, just buy 15,000 tickets of the same numbers and hit. Maybe you're just really lucky. Is it fraud? Who's to say? Now, if you don't win, let's say your lottery tickets don't hit. Let's say it's just not working out for you. You're going to work every day. Things are expensive. Lottery tickets aren't hitting. China has another plan for you because you know what? You still have to travel. You still want to go see family or go on vacations and things are expensive. How do you do it? Well, Chinese social media has another answer. <laughs> and it actually comes from European social media and has exploded in China. In, in Europe, there is a very, very cheap uh, airline company called Ryanair. It's basically a bus with wings. And they're like the cheapest flights you can get uh, around Europe. Ryanair. I've used it myself to travel around Europe. It's awesome. But if you're spending that little for a flight, you don't want to spend the extra baggage fee. So in Europe, they started this meme. 
where they would just start wearing all of their clothes. This is me boarding my 799 Ryanair flight, okay? Well, China took, the, I mean, so it kind of got big. Again, this is Ryanair responding to it. <laughs> this is a, a magazine of a woman wearing all these pockets on her shirt and Ryanair says, don't even think about it. <laughs> it's basically 100 shirts. Well, Chinese social media uh, honed in on this as a real money make, money saving opportunity. And it started to blow up. <laughs> this is people, again, domestic tourism is on the rise in China and the flights are relatively cheap. So if they can find a way around the baggage fees, it's actually awesome, like I've, I've mentioned. And so this is happening, uh, you know, uh, fairly wide, especially, especially among young people, to get around China with all of their, uh, their goods. There's uh, tutorials on social media about the right vest to buy <laughs> that can hold your laptops, your books, your <laughs> your iPad <laughs> in a vest on your back. Eight layers of shirts. It's a 15 pocket fishing vest that you can buy for cheap that carries three kilograms of stuff. It's genius. Uh, and then they got even more uh, intelligent with it, like next level. So now they're buying uh, air pillows that you can carry, like neck pillows, and stuffing them full of things. <laughs> this woman is putting all sorts of things inside of the fucking air pillow to essentially smuggle it on board. Um, this is a woman that wore her full diving outfit because she was going to a tropical location. She wore her full diving outfit on the plane. <laughs> this guy's a photographer. Didn't want to check all of his cameras, just wore them. This is a woman in 30 degree weather wearing three jackets and a fishing vest full of things. So it's uh, it's a pretty interesting trend that you should consider doing if you're ever trying to save some money on domestic travel. And I thought this was funny because it was going viral on Chinese social media. It's basically 100 shirts, which is a meme in this community, but now for real. Now you can save money doing it. This one was great. <laughs> this woman packed so much stuff in bags under her shirt and tried to make herself look pregnant. <laughs> How can I make my belly look rounder? She was trying to make it even so that she <laughs> could get on the plane as if she was pregnant. Uh, very, very impressive. Finally, just to keep you updated in the world of China, there's one more interesting story. Now, we've talked a little bit about the Chinese film industry. If you don't know, it's the biggest in the world. They have the most theaters and the most moviegoers. That's why in America, there's a huge competition to be one of the few American films that gets allowed to have a release in China because they make a ton of money. That's why sometimes you'll see movies that have like uh, a random, like Transformers, I remember. There's like a random Chinese scientist that just stands there and like <laughs> looks cool. It's because it helps them get past the censorship and get into China. That's literally why it exists. Um, or while they'll set something in, you know, have a random scene set in Beijing. That's why they do it. Um, well, uh, Taiwan uh, also relies heavily on the Chinese box office. If you make a film in Taiwan, you need China's box office to make big money. And very recently, a Taiwanese film actually hit number one in China's box office, um, which is pretty incredible. It's the second highest grossing movie ever from Taiwan in China. And it was called The Pig, The Snake, and The Pigeon. You may have seen this on Netflix. Uh, it's actually available right now on, on American Netflix if you want to check it out. Anyway, uh, it's it's a cool idea. It's about a guy who is Taiwan's third most wanted fugitive and decides he wants to kill the top two. <laughs> or, you know, overcome them. Like, you basically, yeah. It's a, it's a fun concept, and it's like a, a dark comedy. It's a dark comedy movie. Uh, apparently, you know, the reviews are pretty good. Uh, pretty well, and and in China, it just hit. It got super popular, you know, overnight, like blew up in 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 Chinese theaters. People are buying the main character's watch. Again, there's like a quote from the movie where it's like, the the badder the man, the pinker the watch, <laughs> and this watch is going absolutely viral. People, guys all over the, you know, it's like buying Ryan Gosling's jacket and drive. People are buying this pink watch all over China to try and be like this badass assassin. It's blowing up. And the reason, if you look into it, is rather interesting. So in China, a lot of films are censored, um, generally to be positive, upbeat, you know, um, feel-good type movies. For example, a lot of the recent movies in China that have been on the top of the box office have been comedies with a hint of hope. And these are three examples that Stefik pulled out to me. This one is called YOLO, 
and it's about uh, a person who gets into boxing. You know, it's it's a comedy, lighthearted. They end by getting better. It's a hope. This one's called Johnny Keep Walking, about people that got laid off from their company, but then they all come together and they work hard and then ends up working out for them. <laughs> There's a movie called uh, Pegasus 2 that's about these old guys who are thought to be kind of washed up, but they become rally car racers and it's funny, but it's lighthearted with a hint of hope. You're seeing a pattern here. These are the kind of movies that get released and people like them and they do well, but it's like the only thing. And so for some reason, I don't really know why, even Steph, we didn't have a great answer for this. This movie from Taiwan got past the censors, was allowed to be released, nothing cut down. Again, a great example is even when a movie does get released, it gets cut down. So the example uh, she used when explaining it to me was like Oppenheimer. You guys know that Florence P had that, uh, <laughs> Florence Pugh had that fucking uh, sex scene in Oppenheimer that was like <laughs> pretty gratuitous. That was cut out. That was cut out of uh, the Chinese version. So when they see Oppenheimer, it doesn't have the sex or the violence. And um, this movie didn't get anything cut. So for the first time, there's like a movie in a while that has like some eroticism, some violence, uh, a fun, dark comedy. And it's just absolutely connecting. Like it's people are demanding it. Uh, there's a, a legitimate adult need for this type of entertainment. And so it's blowing up. And uh, again, uh, all over uh, China, this, this film is starting to do really well. Now, uh, this story would end here and this would be totally cool. This would be a win. It'd be like, wow, cool. Taiwan film doing well in China. That's good for Taiwan Chinese relations. And, uh, you know, less censorship. It's great. But it may unfortunately still be a fail. This is a breaking story <laughs> that we just added. We can't 100% confirm it, but it does seem like, even though this movie is cool uh, and did well, that is because it is entirely stolen. <laughs> it turns out that the Taiwanese director may have stolen it from someone else and that the script is 72% plagiarized word for word. Uh, real chance this may have happened. Again, looking into it, there's like characters that are like, exactly the same with one thing changed. Like this guy's last name is still Chen, but they just changed the G name to a different Chinese city. That's odd. Uh, this last name is like, this first name is functionally identical if you look at the characters. So like, this is what it looks like in the original script. They just added the, basically the hat to the character. Odd, very odd. Um, again, those cities are right next to each other. So it, it's not 100% confirmed. And, but the, the Taiwanese courts have put a block on the profits from the movie until they can figure it out. So the profits from the movie are being held until they determine who actually is the rightful owner of them. Uh, we'll see if it's an actual Yoinkin twist or if it's a true plagiarism or what, we don't know, but it's, it's a little bit of a black mark on this movie. Now, that being said, because the profits are being held, if you want to watch this movie, you shouldn't feel bad about it. The direct, or the the guy claiming plagiarism said he likes the movie, which of course, why wouldn't he? <laughs> it's basically his movie. Uh, and then he wants you to watch it because all he wants is credit and to get some of the money. So theoretically, it should be handled in the courts. You should be allowed to watch it. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal, assuming this gets handled. But I did want to put that on there because I didn't want to end this story by just promoting this movie and this story in China without saying that it may in fact be plagiarized. Uh, but that's it. That's three stories coming out of China. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned every week for more What's Up Beijing stories about coming, comings and goings of China and Chinese social media and business. Next week will be a little darker, a little more serious, but I wanted to give you some more uh, fun, interesting stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, all right, cool. I'm sweating. I'm sweating, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I'm also going to end. I'm also going to end stream. I have uh, I have a lot to do uh, for my for my flight and for voiceover, for videos, and for thumbnails. I'm cranking out thumbnails. So I appreciate you watching. I think we had a fun stream. AI songs were fun. Uh, I'll be gone for a week. I'm gonna try and see if I can stream with Aiden on the backpack. I'm trying to do something with the Hitman devs. I'm trying to do stuff, but I can't guarantee any of it. So um, we'll still have YouTube videos. Please tune in, have a good time. Uh, have a great week. Let's raid somebody who's live. Uh, I feel like th this week's stream has been pretty fun. We're on a good kick. I was feeling pretty bad after February. I feel like I was just too lazy in February. I didn't do a lot of good content. And now I feel like we're getting back on track. 
Um, I'm going to raid Connor Eats Pants. He's playing Overwatch 2, my favorite game. Please go watch Konar Eat Pant. Overwatch 2, baby. What a fun game. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Uh, goodbye, good night, and good luck.